Jerusalem adventure almost over. That night he hadn't slept. Dreams and premonitions made him tired and emotional. And that's why Jesus fled. He wasn't scared of dying. He made that commitment, fulfilling the old prophecy. His bargain he had kept, and he was due some satisfaction. But he was deeply troubled, and that's why Jesus went. Was this his true destiny, or could he still make changes? Someone else's nightmare, into which he'd stepped. Damage limitation. Couldn't save the situation. That's why Jesus went. In his dream, he saw the crusades, and all was that would follow declared in his name. When he thought he'd be direct, love thy neighbor, do not kill, and turn the other cheek. That's why Jesus went. And then he saw the Inquisition, the burning of the saints, the conversion of the innocents. He swore he would protect. And he saw them bless the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. And that's why Jesus went. Betray him, he made him the rock on which he built a church to sort of keep him in his debt. A man about to die, he's a lot of confusion, and that's why Jesus went. Then he thought of his disciples, especially Judas. And the job that was ordained for him in the reward he collect. And then he saw him in the tree with silver coins around him. And that's why Jesus went. But then he thought about the good times when he turned the tables over, chastised the money lenders, and he earned the boy respect. He was proud of godly anger, just a shame to manly temper. And that's when Jesus went. Rumors started flying, about water into wine and sight to the blind. And that he'd even raised the dead, you know, the biggest miracle. Everyone believed it. And that's why Jesus went. And he mused on human nature, how fickle was the public, so ready to accept him. Be so quick now to reject. Where were the five thousand that he fed with loaves and fishes? Oh, that's when Jesus went. In his dream, he saw a garden with all his friends asleep, and he walked away the hours until the morning crept, and he wondered would the nails hurt. Jesus wept. Was he supposed to bear it like a man or like a god? Would tears show weakness or a strength by their effect? And would they be viewed as compassion or failure and self pity? Hmm. That's how Jesus wept.
houses burning on both sides of the border and saw the guilty suffer with the guilt glass and the rest of when they called his name and he knew he could not help them well then said Jesus was well and then he saw two armies marching and he heard their crucifixes reduced to muted superstitious jangling round their necks and he heard his name intoned as they lowered their companions and that's why Jesus went then he thought about his mother and the stories she had told him fulfilled his dreams with angels and put voices in his head and then the scent of pine trees made him think of dear old Joseph and that's why Jesus went that's why Jesus went